Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Blasted Oasis. So, it is 7 a.m., three hours past the Horde. Now, it's supposed to be daylight, but as you can see, it's pitch black and really, really dark. So, I've added a few mods to the game. I wanted to up the difficulty slightly, but I didn't want to just put the zombies on insane. That would just be... I don't know, it's just... Making the zombies harder is not necessarily making the game harder. It just kind of slows down the combat a little bit. So the warrior difficulty, I'm kind of liking that where it is. So we're leaving, gonna, we left it on that. Um, I did go ahead and make a desert vulture last night. Uh, we've got the magazine extender mod in this, doing 90 damage with 12 rounds. Uh, we'll keep him with the pump shotgun. Um, but so the mods that I've added, if we quickly go and just make a wood frame here. So one of the most of the mods that I've added are quality of life. So they're not going to really impact the game all that much, other than to make our house look a little better. So if we go in here, and uh, we go to shape, so it's added a lot of shapes to the actual menu. So these are all available in the game. They're just not normally available to uh, the player when you're actually using the wood block. But now we have the ability to, to get all these shapes. Um, so when we're working on the house, we have uh, options to make it look real nice. You've even got the wood floor joists that normally I take these out and then I can't replace them because you don't have the ability to redo them, but now I do. Uh, we've got wood trim, which is awesome, so I can add trim to the house, uh, baseboards, things like that, right? So, you know, and then, you know, barricades, center plates, which were some of the windows look like this. Um, so we have the option to uh, make the house look a little better. Also, uh, let's just go ahead and uh, just pull this out. And we'll drop you into here for now, because we're not going to need you right now. So in the workbench, we also now have the ability to make door trim, um, uh, shutters. So it's we can put shutters on our windows now. Like I said, it's just all the little quality of life stuff um, that normally wasn't available. Uh, also, you can see here, auto workbench. So I've also added a mod that added a whole bunch of different vehicles into the game. And we can make a whole bunch of like different cars and things like that. We just have to get the parts for them, right? So it's going to take a while to do that if we want to build different vehicles. So we can go ahead and do that. Um, what else did I add? Oh, yeah. Uh, the ability to make, you know, the different kinds of doors in the game. Also, different types of windows. So we can have like arched windows now. Um, so we can make go ahead and make those. Um, and the cost is, you know, pretty much what you would expect, a glass block and a block of concrete, right? That's what it would be. Um, uh, a fuse box, uh, this thing will allow us to run power um, to a variety of different places. Places, also this re regular fuse box. Uh, when you use these blocks, the wires that come off of this are invisible. So we can run power throughout the house and have no wires running everywhere, which is great. Um, also, there is uh, different types of windows. What else do we have here? Um, oh yeah, working lamps and lights. There's a whole wide variety of lamps and lights that now I can run power to and have them work. Uh, normally, you've only got a handful of different light types you can uh, use, but now we've got a bunch of different lights so we can really set up the place and make it look really nice. So that's kind of the goal with those. Uh, now, as far as gameplay goes, like I said, I've got it set up now so that the day is um, from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. and the rest is nighttime. And I've also got a mod that's added that makes the nighttime like a fog rolls in at night. So it makes it really, really foggy. As you can see, it's like pitch black out there now. So if we're going to be out at nighttime, uh, we have to have our wits about us because we won't be able to see bears or anything. So that's going to add a little bit of a challenge. I've also added a two time zombie mod. So it doubles the number of zombies that spawn uh, in the open. Which means we could have quite a number of mobs show up if we're not careful. So we're going to have to like just be very, very wary and very careful now. Um, we're going to be using the shotgun probably a lot and the pistol probably a lot. And then when we go in the houses, once, we'll, once again, we'll be back to the boat. Okay, so today we're going to go ahead and... Oh yeah, the traders too. That's the last thing. Uh, the traders are only open from 10 to 10 now. So only during the daytime. So I changed the time what they what, which time they open. So they don't open at four o'clock in the morning or six o'clock in the morning anymore. It's ten o'clock. Um, so we have the whole night to do stuff. Because what I want to do start doing is go on going on night raids. During the day we'll pick up stuff from the trader. We'll walk around the house, get stuff done, and then at nighttime we're going to go out 
and uh, have some fun. Now, I'm hoping I'm going to record a couple of episodes and see what the light level is like at, at nighttime to see if that's feasible or not. Now, it's almost morning. You can see the sun's coming up now, so it'll be bright very soon. Uh, we won't get to much of that today, but tomorrow's episode, we're going to start early. Um, and uh, yeah, it's going to be dark, so we're going to have to be careful. So let's get out of here. Do we bring our bike? No, I left it upstairs. Because of course I did. Now I can jump across here. I normally don't do it because sometimes you can miss and fall, break your leg, but can't do that. Uh, now let's, uh, where did I put it? It's in here, isn't it? It's in here, I believe. Where did I put it? Okay, it's been a long time since I recorded, once again, so like, I gotta figure out where the hell the motorbike went. Uh, is it in here? I don't see you anywhere. Where? Did it disappear? <gasps> I wonder if it disappeared. Because these are... Oh, I hope it didn't disappear. I didn't leave it parked outside, though. There's no way I left it parked outside. Not during the Horde night. Oh, well, there it is. Oh, God, I'm blind. Okay, now, the other thing, too, is we're going to have to be very, very careful using this. How much gas do we have? 98%. Okay, the reason why we have to be careful um, is because we don't get as much gas now from wrenching cars. I, I tried using that mod uh, just to see if it was actually feasible to do. Um, and it is, but we get not a very, very much gas from vehicles. So we're going to have to be, like, not whipping around here. We also can't be driving very fast either, uh, simply because we're not going to be able to see stuff. Okay, so these cars haven't changed because they've already spawned in the game. Oh wait, this is the house that we... Uh yeah, this is the house we were like living in at very, very, very beginning of the game. Okay, let's turn around here. What's up, buddy? A little bit of a delay here. It's probably because there's a lot of zombies spawning in. I could be wrong, but I'm, I'm guessing that's what it is. Alright. Let's do this. So this is just a fetch, right? Okay. Gonna go in like a boss, I think. Alright, it's morning. Where was that zombie? Oh, in right there! Ooh! I don't know how I did that, but you got wrecked. This guy's feral. Wake up! Wow, nobody else heard that? Really? I think there's a bird out here different kind of bird <laughs> candy cane damage so we're gonna have a lot of like people coming from outside most likely when we're in these places now that's a crawler not there at that door out there is there anybody in here Nope. Okay, we're going to loot afterwards. Let's murder everybody first. That's like... Die! Oh, yeah. 
Wake up. That's it for you. Oh, let's get these first. It's surprising how many... Like, I've watched... Oh, somebody's in. Are you in? Oh, you're just an idiot. Um, how many people have watched Seven Days to Die series do the same thing as me? It's like, you go into a building, the idea is to loot it. Uh, nope, I can find the supplies. Oh, there is somebody in there. Owned. Um, and then you, you go and you do the uh, murdering of all the zombies and then just leave without actually picking up what you're supposed to grab. It's actually very common, surprisingly. And it's just like, oh shit. But it's not an easy thing to be like talking and playing at the same time because you're really focusing on two things, right? What you're saying and what you're doing. And no matter what people like to say about multitasking, human brains generally don't work on more than one thing at a time. Much as you like to think that they, you can be thinking about more than one thing at once, you can't. It doesn't matter whether you're male or female or whatever. That's a crawler out there. I don't th oh, there's a room back here too. I forgot about that. Let's go back here. Yeah, we got someone over here. I think the light levels would be just fine. Especially if we, ro we rock in the candy cane a lot. Okay, I heard somebody else, but I don't see anybody else in here. Did that guy break? He didn't break through the door. I was like thinking, wow, well, you broke through the door already. That's pretty good. Okay, let's go ahead and scrap these. Got a little bit of lag. Could be recording lag too. I'm not sure. Because I'm trying to record in 60p now. I don't know if this guy's... I just gave up. No, he didn't. So I'm trying to, yeah, I may have to change it back to 30. We'll see how it goes today. You're feral. Sorry, you were feral. Look at you two, lo lo lovebirds lying side by side. It just brings a tear to my eye. Oh, he's almost through. Good job, buddy. I have to go and, uh, whoa, that was a uh, bit of lag there. There you go. Let him burn. I think what we need to do, though, is just mow out there. Let's go ahead and scrap this. Crap two of these. Just going to drop these in the door. At least that way we can hear somebody trying to break in. Alright, what else do we got here? There should be somebody in this living room. There normally is. Oh, there we go. Who needs stealth armor? Okay, what do we got down here? Oh, I remember this place. Alright, so I think... If we go this way, there's a bunch of guys back here. I think there's somebody in here too. Yep. Good night. Sleep tight. We got that's a bag. Guy back there. Oh, you're a runner. Bring it in for some loving. Alright, I think that's it back here. Alright, let's go murder the zombies on the other side. Oh, we got one right here. Another runner. Ah, she was tough. I mean, she's still dead, but she was tough. We got a snack? No snacks. That skill is worth its weight in gold. Especially if you're playing in the wasteland. Because that's all you're going to find for meat for the first little bit is just snakes. All right, four up, four down. Anybody else in here? 
Nope. Now, I don't have any looting candy. Candy. So let's just break into these guys and we'll see what we got here. Just going to go for the big stuff. See what we can get out of this, okay? Bandages, we'll probably just scrap those. Ooh, M60. That's going to be a scrappable piece. Seven rounds. Ooh, ergonomic grip mod. Ooh, lots of parts. That's nice. And what do we got in here? Okay. All right, all right. Let's see what we got here. Uh, ergonomic grip. We Is there anything... Any place now? Because we're loaded out. We're just... Yeah, we got to wait till we get better armor. I guess we could put it in there for now. Just put it on our head. Put it on our head. All right. Uh, that's the axe. This is one we've already got one. I don't think it'll fit in there. Do we have one in... This is the fortifying grip. Now, I don't think... Let's go ahead and take that out. Let's put you in there. Now, can we get the fortifying grip in here? We can. Okay. Leave it in the axe. I would rather have the stamina reduction um, on my main body. Okay, I'm going to grab the cobblestone and the cement from in here. Because there is a fair bit of it. And then we'll go check out that gun bag. Okay, what do we got? The duffel. A little bit of food. Let's just use it. This is the cat food. Let's go ahead and use that. Are they coming inside? Oh, they certainly heard me. Oh, auto shotgun. Nice. It's only level one, though. I want the schematic. I would rather be running with something better than that. Nothing there. All right. I think there's bookshelves back here. Yep. You guys coming in or are you just staying outside? Oh, we got the garage to go through too. Let's take both of those guys. Just sell them. Ooh, Night Stalker. 10% 10 more, 10 more sneak damage at night. That'll be handy. And yeah, we don't need that. And you. Eh, ah, a couple things to sell. Shall we help you out? Can't reach you. Hey, let me help. Does that help? Sucks to be you. All right, we got the garage still. Yeah, see what I mean? Different vehicle. Ooh, we got guys up here. And you're feral. Come on. Get up. You're not. Ooh, lots of good stuff in here. Okay, so the levels of cars for wrenching cars and stuff have changed now. You notice this is 250 hit points. Yeah, we got some good stuff off it, though, because I think it's because our salvage is raised up. You don't always get good stuff off them. Sometimes it's just, um, just iron. Let's go ahead and scrap these guys. Level 6 battery. Car alternator. So they've added a bunch of stuff so that we can make a variety of different vehicles. The different vehicles require different things. I think they've actually included the carburetor in some of the stuff, which is like bizarre because, you know, the carburetor is not used anymore in any vehicles. But I guess if you're like got an old, older muscle car or something, kind of makes more sense. All right, let's see if we can get up here now. Can we just... No! Damn it. I didn't think that was going to fall. Well, that sucks. All right, we'll take those. What's in here? Ooh, steel. Take that. Yeah, we're getting some pretty chunky lag. I'm, I'm kind of 
shocked at this. Oh, hey, what's up, guys? Dick shot. Oh, I bet you wish you hadn't come in the door, huh? It's all your fault, buddy. Not gonna bother going to the attic. Let's see who's out here, though. So the thing about the the uh, double zombies mod, not only does it make it harder, but it um, also you get more experience faster. Let's go ahead and scrap the chairs. All right. So it makes the game more difficult because your game stage goes up faster. Dude. What the? Kneecap ya. Oh, are you kidding me? Hitboxes are a little crazy now in this game. Okay, we got a doge over there. And that guy. Got him in the leg. He's missing a leg and he's still running. So we're going to be able to go up and level a little faster. I don't really care what he's got on him. Let's go. So we're going to head to the trader. Excuse me. Pardon me. Excuse me. So we're going to head to the trader. We're going to sell this stuff. And then we're going to head off to the other town. Now, thinking back, this map is not a very large map. But we've only explored like a quarter of it. So there's a lot of stuff to the north. What I want to do is just kind of like... Head up there, see what we can find. And, um, I don't, maybe there might be more traders up there. I can't really remember what the map looks like. Uh, but there might be more traders up there. Oh, yeah, the other thing, too, is I added a vending machine mod. So now that vending machines, um, only restock on the trader restock days. So we need to be aware of that. So we're not going to get a ton of candies anymore. So we have to buy them when we see them. Okay, level four. Just don't let this go to your head. Uh, yeah. Go ahead and sell the stuff. Uh, I'm just gonna sell the four pit level four pistol. Um, you guys can go. This can go. The books. And that can go. Um. Okay. Now, I don't think you have anything that we want. Wheels, motorcycle handlebars, SMG turret, compound crossbow schematic. How much do we have? 2,700? Um, I don't think we're ever going to run with the compound crossbow, but it might be nice to buy it just so that we have it. In case we do want to use it later. Improved fitting mods, weighted head. Um, yeah, I think we're good here. Level 1 marksman rifle, no. Oh, uh, before we go, where are you here? Yeah, you don't have anything we really need. Time to move on. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Um, got any jobs? Got something on 1.7 kilometers up north. Perfect. Just in a game. That's just yeah, in. not doing it today, but we'll take that. And we'll go up north with it. All right, let's head back to the house. Drop this stuff off. Yeah, see, you can already tell already there's more zombies. So, you can imagine what this is going to be like at nighttime when we can't see a damn thing. And they're all sprinting. It's going to make the game really interesting. At least I ho that's what I'm hoping. As long as we don't keep getting this chunky lag. Seems to be a little better over here. I think it's probably got to do with the new mods being loaded in. And it's just kind of adjusting the game to based on that. The current 
current run game based on that that is okay let's jump across here yeah should be doing that more often I guess all right we'll just drop all this stuff should we take some we'll take some money with us I never did buy those uh, the candies I should have take the money with us um, anything else we really need I don't think so I think we're good let's just go we'll find stuff on the way if we have to all right, so the other job, his job is up there. I thought there was another... Did we have another job out east or something? Yeah, tier three fetch clear over here. I want to try taking this road north too, just to see where that goes. Like, where's he sending us up there? Now, I don't know. Maybe these roads go up that way. I don't know, but... Let's go over here, do the fetch clear, and see how it goes. So I'm really glad I put these barrels here. It really helps out. Excuse me. Okay, so here's the fork in the road. Oh, oh, pardon me. So we want to go north. I think once we finish this building off down here, we'll head up north and see what's up there. Hello. Goodbye. All right, so is this the, this is the gas station right here. Wheelie. So we want to loot as much of this gas before we start, I think. <laughs> Screw you! Okay, let's clear these guys up. Oh. oh! I miscalculated this dog! Ah, now we got a spray Nanko, we're infected. Oh, there's a bear because of course there's a bear why is it I don't even know okay well <laughs> not much we can do about this at the moment let's see if we can get some gas and hope that bear doesn't notice us I mean I don't know the shotgun it might be able to deal with the bear with just a shotgun but we got to be like off the ground I think hey Mo what's up you think I'll find honey in here what do you think? No? No. Well, he's not very positive. Alright, we got a bit of gas here. I'm glad I stopped making Molotovs and went more with pipe bombs. It just saves all the gas for the cars. Okay, so these cars won't be any different than the ones that were originally here because we've passed this location they've loaded in already. It's only the vehicles that haven't been loaded in that'll be different. All right, let's go ahead and take these guys apart. But the parts we get will be different for sure. Like you can see we're not getting any gas at all, right? It's gonna make it, like we're gonna have to be very careful with our gas or we're gonna be going on foot to a lot of places. All right, this is what I mean about needing to double loot this place. Now where's that bear? Okay, let's activate this. Oh fuck, does he see me? Oh, of course he does. Um, we need to get inside. Oh, did he not? I guess he doesn't see me anymore. Now yeah, I gave up. I really should have frames on me. I can't leave the property either. We're gonna have to deal with this bear. Okay, let's go ahead. Um, make some frames. Uh, the problem is, is if I go... If I go on the uh, thing over there, he's going to blow up the gas station. Come on, jerk. We got some unfinished business, you and I. I and he. Me and he. Um. Ten, eleven, twelve. Here they all come.
Okay, so I think I was 20 in total. I missed with one for sure. This gun is so satisfying though. Although I probably should just, uh... Yeah, you run away. Businessman didn't want a piece of me. Look at him climbing the tree. I'm right here, dude. He was just being nice. He was just waiting for me. Um, I'm not going to harvest this bear. We've got so much stuff at home. We don't need it. What we do need to do is check these again. You notice the vehicles change too, right? They're not the uh, standard seven days vehicles anymore. They got zipper sounds too. 22 rounds. All right, let's see. We'll just take these apart. Ah, and then we can get back to what we're doing. We'll dump all this stuff off in the car, or in the bike, and then we'll head inside once we've managed to wrench these apart finally. Oh, a little bit of gas there. 33 is not a whole lot though. Ooh, car frame. So there's normal and regular car frames. Or sorry, damaged and regular car frames. The damaged car frames, you can put two of them together to make a normal car frame. Same thing with engines and batteries and things like that. Now, if you have time later on, I'll wrench these pipes and stuff, but I'm not going to do that right now. Let's just refuel. All the gas is going to be going into the bike. I don't know if there's a vending machine inside, but I'll keep that on me. Hey, buddy, what's up? All right, now since we've killed most of the zombies out here, let's go in loud. I want to get some workout with this thing here. We got one zombie right here. Correction, we had a zombie right there. And I think this might be the, uh, yep. Excellent, that's part of the job done. Normally that's the part I forget. Hey buddy. Welcome to the jungle. All right, we're gonna loot afterwards. Like, look at these cars. Some of them are cool, some of them are eh. All right, so I don't forget to do this though. I think it might be an issue finding the regular engines. All right, what do we got down here? All right, we got two guys down here. Oh, I see you. You are a regular guy. Where's this other guy? There you are. What the? That's some bullshit right there if I've ever seen it. This guy's feral. Correction, he was feral. Alright, go this way. Now we know we get attacked by somebody once we get up here. Oh, and of course it's a cop. If there's gonna be any ways of anybody, it might as well be a cop, eh? Alright, we got two out here. Let's deal with them first. I know I could have used a bow on her, but I gotta deal with these guys here in a minute. Rather do that sooner rather than later. What do we got here? Ah, 338. Hold still. Dude, that was a two for one. Punks, all of ya. He says before he gets himself brutally killed going in this door. We know what's going on in here. All right, let's take this apart, because I don't think we're coming back out this way. That's kind of a weird uh, transition. All right, let's deal with you. Yeah, this thing's a headshotting nightmare for zombies. All right. Oh, I'm not looking forward to this.
Uh, hello? Why is it all quiet? Normally there's like four zombies in here. And they're all like, we're gonna eat you for breakfast. Wow, that's, um, okay. I mean, I guess I shouldn't complain. Listen to these zombies outside. So many of them. Anybody in here? Nobody in there? All right, we'll loot that in a minute. Nobody in the rafters. Nobody in the bathroom. Wow, okay. I mean, I shouldn't argue, but let's get what's behind here first, because I know I'll forget it if I don't. Alright, what's this? Ooh, the crucible. Oh, hey, what's up? Uh, it was probably a good idea to come and check this window out. Come on, burn, mama. You coming here too? You're too- ah, uh, you're too slow. Yeah, come on, hurry up. That sounded like a big boy or a cop out there. Actually, just kind of looking for honey or something, but we might find something upstairs. The kitchen's upstairs, so... Alright, this is the one where they fall down from the roof, I think. <sighs> no cops. Excellent. Come on, you bastards. Wow, that was unusual. The feral died before the, uh... The regular guy did. Oh, the bird's awake. Hey, buddy. I'm over here. There you are. Oh, great. Eh, yeah, good. Come on, you ass. Where are you? He flew away. He's like, fuck this shit, I ain't gonna fight this guy. This guy's got a handgun. Oh. What's up with you? Oop. You guys finally broke in, huh? Alright, nothing. So these vending machines... Oh, fucking guys, I'll just close this door. So these vending machines now, when you take them apart... You got a chance to get, like, candy and food and a variety of other- Ow! How did you get in? Did you come in the window? Jesus Christ! These guys are gonna kill me! I'm gonna use one of these tabs. I get caught, like, doing stuff I shouldn't be doing. Like, wrenching this apart at the moment. But there's a chance to get- oh, there's the night time. It's gonna make everything more interesting. Okay, now we can break into it. Only fools rush in. So you can break it and then break into it. It'll never be refilled. Come on, you guys. The more I shoot, the worse it's gonna get. Cop. That's a feral cop. Oh man. Maybe this was a bad idea. Okay, we gotta, we gotta like, stabilize this situation here.
Aim for the head or the man is dead. Yeah, see, you can get food and stuff out of this now. Okay, let's try and stay quiet. We'll loot a few things here. Let's try and get our food back. Okay, we can scrap that. We can scrap this. We can fight her. Ah, I got her in one shot. Nice. Okay, we got some water. Now yeah, we gotta take the nitrate powder. We still gotta be able to find a uh, nitrate mine. Okay. This episode might be going a little longer than I anticipated, but I'll go ahead and scrap this. But I'm definitely having fun. Alright, seems like it's stabilized outside. It won't soon enough, once we get to the roof. Um, I think we'll leave those. I'm going to leave the paper too. Uh, I think we got tons at home, but be nice to have it for more shotgun rounds in the future. Okay, we don't need that. Don't need that. Coming up dry in here. I don't know how they're hearing up me up here. I'm like barely making any sound now. I mean, I'm sure they heard that. Alright, we gotta get... Uh, where they can't get us. in there oh yeah lead okay we got to get this damn bird too but I gotta do it all quiet like where is he at least our fractured ankles gone oh no that's not good Somebody in here? Okay, they're outside. I can't mess up on my jumps. That's the thing I gotta worry about now. I am going to complete this mission. And you're not going to stop me. Alright, let's get this out of there. And let's make some frames. Because we can see how good I am at jumping this. I don't think that one breaks. But just in case. That was bullshit. I hit that guy. Ah, really? Okay, let's use this. Where's the water?
Or should I just have like a regular first aid bandage? I don't want to waste these unless we absolutely have to. But that's what we need for that, uh... For that, uh, damage there. Not even going to be able to see these guys if they're out here. I think we killed them already. I think these guys came inside. They heard a shooting. Yeah, it looks like it. Come on, honey. Now we'll use this. Take the rounds. Now what I don't know is there's usually three or four guys on this side of the building. I think we got them too. Normally they show up. I think these guys came in after us. Yeah, we got them. So it's just the roof left. Oh, there we go. That should reduce the time. Oh, I got the better of you that time. Yeah, it's just the guys on the roof now. Alright, we got plenty of antibiotics at home, so I'm not worried about those. Hopefully we get some upstairs, but... Find out soon enough. Now we want to get it break in underneath here too, because there's a hidden stash up here. So let's get up to the roof. The rough. I know there's a dog up here. I'm pretty sure he's not gonna look at this. Where was that from? Oh, that was from the bird. I can't even here it comes. Oh, we got lucky there. Let's hope this guy's not radiated. Nope. Yeah, baby, that's it for that. Alright, let's see what kind of loot we can get out of this. Alright, everything is open. Let's have a look at this. Okay, honey. Ah. Well, at least we got some food. All right, we can scrap these, take the ammo. It's always good when we get ammo. Okay, car parts box. Crucible recipe. Impact driver, sledgehammer. Engine, okay, those parts. Go ahead and scrap this. Two books that we haven't read. So this one is take fiber letter jackets. Not the last one in the series. And I'm going to go ahead and use this as well. And we'll scrap you. Scrap you. Take all that. Alright, so we're not completely overloaded. We'll use that. Let's use this. I might as well use up the water. We can just drop that. That's going to sell for something half decent. Now, we don't have any antibiotics, but whatever. Um... Coffee beans, let's hold on to them. We can always throw them away later. Alright, 124. It's not bad. Now, they can't get up to me. At least they shouldn't be able to. Let's get in here. Okay. Crouch. Here we go. Come on, honey. Have some water. Some of these are breakaways. That's the breakaway. Breakaway. Nope. Full. Okay. You work on that down there. I got stuff to do up here. Alright. Perfect. Nice. Now. Hidden stash. Really? Oh, painful. Okay, well. Alrighty, well, I am going to leave this episode here. I told you it was going to be relatively short. Because i got to make my way down to the bike. And then... Put the stuff in the bike. And then we're, I'm going to just kind of putter up north. And we'll pick up the next episode somewhere up north. I'm going to go back to that crossroads. 
Fuck, somebody heard me again. That's a white. I gotta fight him here. Oh, well, there's nothing there to fight him with. Die, you bastard. Okay, maybe we're not going to end the episode. I got to get out of here first. This is going to be the death of me, this series. Or at least this way, the way of playing this series, that is. Let's get on the bike. It's over here somewhere. There you are. Wow. I'm not going anywhere. Besides, but back inside. I can't see a damn thing. I knew it was going to be bad. I didn't think it was going to be that bad. Alright, we're going back upstairs and hiding on the roof for now. Staying very quiet. Until at least it gets a little brighter. Let's go ahead and do this. <laughs> what did I say about needing to bring a hammer with me? Um, I don't have any grass fiber on me. I can't make a stone axe, but... We'll leave it here for now, guys. I'm going to hide up here. If anything crazy happens, I'll let you know. But in the morning, we're going to make our way out of here. Maybe we go across the street there to the car lot. I haven't decided yet. Um, wrench apart some cars. Take this apart in the morning. Um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I might try and sneak down and put some stuff in the bike. Because it would be nice if we can get a lot of this stuff out of our inventory. Actually, I should probably just go ahead and use this. And this. Just get the XP. Get it out of my inventory. Don't need it for now. Alright, end of the episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Am I crazy for playing this way? I don't know. We'll see. Alright, until next time. We'll see you later.